Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur, uh, where I have another review for you. Uh, this time, it's of a filmmaker that, uh, I've kind of followed um, along with his work, and uh, he started out on Legless Corpse uh, uh, films, like so many others, and uh, he was one of the first ones that I was able to track, to, uh, track down after I'd uh, bought quite a few from Legless Corpse films themselves, uh, which was... Uh, uh, film distribution company that uh, was around for a while and it was uh, run by Chad Armstrong who died of stage four cancer, rest in peace. Um, I kind of got to know Chad a little bit, a little bit. in fact, uh, when my father fell from his roof and uh, uh, I found out about it, uh, his dad had just recently died, so... Um, I guess that's why I had su uh, uh, such a um, fascination with some of the films that he would end up picking up. And uh, uh, The Butcher, uh, filmed in 2016, um, was the first film uh, uh, that uh, was up there on Legless Corpse Me uh, Media's uh, store site. And... Uh, it was, I got the DVD at the time. Um, as you can see, the Legless Corpse um, media uh, logo is there on the bottom. And uh, ultimately, uh, there were some films after the site closed um, that uh, were of uh, Amir Scalanges that I had wanted. So I tracked them down and um, I ended up getting... A couple of blue uh, uh, blu-rays uh, from him that, uh, that was all he had um of the remaining films and uh he had not switched them over uh, uh, as of yet so um i bought them from him and uh uh ended up getting a, a blu-ray of the butcher um this was the um back and front of the co uh, cover and the butcher uh the blu-ray was actually on um Legless Corpse Films Black Isle video um, website, which was a second website that were do they were doing for exclusive uh, films uh, um, of a different, uh, same generic genre, but uh, uh, relatively different films. Uh, I don't know what to say, what to say, what to say. So... Working under Foxtrot Productions, Welsh Dragon Films, 
uh, with producers Sean Patrick, Sarah Mack at the time, with uh, Extreme Horror Cinema, The Butcher was originally, like I said, distributed with um, Legless Corpse films. But now lo no longer. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, some of the films that, uh, that uh, were distributed with uh, Legless Corpse films we're going to be going to be with underground gore electors uh, films at, at, at one point uh, in a special edition uh, of that. Uh, that being said, um, the film opens into what appears to be a torture room in Buffalo. As we hear a newscast interview um, describe what a psychiatrist describes the butcher's behavior is as the camera pans in on a hooded figure sharpening a knife with a scarred face a young woman awakens tied as we see tools a gloved hand and the back of our killer in question played by sean saramac the producer behind this film and uh, looks like he's wearing a mask made of skin and a butcher's apron as he clubs her upside her head with the tang of his weapon of choice. Meanwhile, Lori, played by Megan Saramac, is with her gay friend Mickey, played by Thrift, uh, as he suggests for her to do some online dating. While the butcher, on the other hand, uh selects a second victim. The second victim wakes up, same as the first, only this time, instead of silence, we hear the butcher talking to his victim start to threaten her and chokes her violently. Um, Lori, on the other hand, goes on her first date and explains that her job is as is a county coroner. I wonder how that would go over lightly that you examine dead people on a date. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can't put this feature into your normal sense of a slasher as there's definitely more gore and torture that is suggestive not that you see as much gore as you uh, more as it is suggested uh but you can certainly classify it in a home invasion of a serial kind of butchery uh da, 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 da. I was, at the time, very curious about, about um, how violent films could, uh, could, uh, could be in the independent uh, field. And horror fans these days just want to see how many way, uh, ways a person can get chopped up in little bits and pieces. <laughs> and Scalanja almost tampers into snuff film territory here. That taboo shot on video that uh, that almost seems real, but uh, but isn't the kind that could almost get in trouble. <laughs> Sean Patrick Saramac uh, certainly seems to get into his role as a mentally unstable killer, as he seems to talk to himself as well as hear things that. Uh, He didn't even scream or say. I believe there was a moment in the kitchen, I noticed. Megan Saramac, who played Lori, messed up on one line. But that can be overlooked, uh, as that seems to be the only part I saw. A fuck-up. But other than this, I think the Gore fans will be impressed. Um, if, they, if you have not seen this uh, film... Um, and I don't think this film had 
a very long time on uh, the website of Legless Corpse Films. Um, and I don't think that Legless Corpse Films entirely advertised the film as much as it probably should have been. So I don't think it got much exposure. I'm not sure whether I should say whether I enjoyed this film, but it certainly isn't unwatchable if you get into this type of film. I found it entertaining to a, uh, to a certain degree. What do you think? I want you to tell me uh, down in the comments um, what you th may have thought about, uh, about uh, this film, if you have seen it. Uh, the film stars Kate Bown as uh, Katie, um, Elizabeth Becker as Victim 2, um, Sam Jindra as Megan, uh, Joshua McDonald as Stephen Vickers, uh, Devon Metzger as Meredith Jackson, uh, Megan Saramac as Laurie, uh, Sean Patrick Saramac as Bill or the Butcher, uh, Nicole Scalanja as victim number one, and that just happens to be uh, Amir Scalanja's wife. Um, and uh, Bill Smith as Chad, and Richard Thrift as Gay Mickey. So, I guess right now the uh, this film is not for sale anywhere, uh, because it's not on Amir Scalanja's Kunikai. Uh, sales th uh, thing. I guess um, he's taking it back to the chopping block uh, and has put it back into the editing room so that he can create a better film. Now that he kn uh, 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 now that he's had several films experience um, since making the butcher and uh, for a first effort, um, I don't think it was entirely too bad. I mean. It has talent. So in any case, let me know down in the comments if you have seen this film or have even heard of this uh, film. And uh, just uh, let me know what you think. And I'll definitely have some more cool uh, films to talk about the next time around. And uh, hopefully uh, by the time this... Uh, by, uh, by the time this review circulates... Um, maybe Amir Scalanja uh, might re-release it, uh, in Blu-ray or something of that, of that effect under his own Foxtrot media thing I'm about her. In any case, hopefully you enjoyed my, um, ramblings on this film. Like, share, and subscribe, and, uh, stay tuned for more. Exciting stuff on delusions of grandeur. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?